Greetings, my name's Ed Budd and welcome to my channel, which specialises in shoe and running gear reviews. Today I'm taking the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2 out on an initial run. So first run completed in the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. Really lucky to have got this shoe. It's been released for Nike Plus members over here in Europe. I'm really excited to test this shoe out for you on the channel. I'm gonna give you my honest opinions as usual. So just under 10 miles today in this quite frankly bizarre and very colorful looking shoe. It's certainly bright, it certainly stands out. The colorway, if you're interested, is electric green. They're bright, light and breezy and I had a fantastic time running in these today. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I've run up almost 200 miles in the original version of the Pegasus Turbo. After about 10 miles, I can honestly say that they have made some really, really good positive improvements to this shoe. The outsole midsole materials remain the same. You've got a sandwich of two different Nike cushioning technologies here. So this unit here remains the same, but if it ain't broke, no need to fix it. So the top half of the midsole features Zoom X, which is that that's on the Nike Vaporfly 4% and the Next Percent. Zoom X has huge levels of energy return and it's very resilient. So as the foot impacts onto the cushion material, uh, it returns back to its original state very quickly. Obviously that's great if you're a runner, you want your cushion materials to return to their original state, you're gonna get more and more use out of those cushion materials if that occurs. The second of the cushioning materials, uh, the bottom section here, which is bizarrely the bit that says Zoom X on it, actually that's React. The bit closest to the floor is React. It's a much more durable uh, material and Nike utilize within the uh, Nike Zoom Fly Flyknit, uh, but also within the Epic and Odyssey React trainers. React's really, really durable. It's gonna give you lots and lots of miles. I've hit up almost 250 miles in my Nike Zoom Fly Flyknits. Uh, they have React, it still looks great, it still feels fantastic. Um, so a very durable material, and when you sandwich those two materials together, you have this outsole here, which is a really great outsole. It does feel fantastic to run in. You're gonna get lots of miles out of it, but also it does feel fast, it feels speedy. I had a real blast running in these today. Even on tired legs, I still managed to get some good paces going. Just felt really exciting, felt exhilarating. It felt good to be running in these today. So moving on from the midsole and outsole materials, which haven't seen an awful lot of changes, we go to the upper of the shoe. 
actually this does feature a significant change. Nike lists this upper as being made of lofted mesh and synthetic materials. Um, it's hard to say exactly what they are, but they certainly feel nice and breathable. They feel a lot lighter and thinner in hand than the original iteration of the shoe. I felt today running in this shoe uh, that there was a big improvement over the uh, initial iteration of the shoe. Uh, it feels a lot lighter on foot. Uh, it doesn't feel as if there, there's a lot of material around your foot. It kind of felt a lot freer to me. Certainly more streamlined, certainly less material there. So I think a big improvement there, Nike, in terms of the upper of the Pegasus Turbo 2. Another area that's seen significant change is that of the heel. There is now less of a flare at the heel and far less material around this section of the shoe. Now you might say, Ed, does that mean that the shoe's even less stable? Some people found that the Pegasus Turbo was unstable. I found this shoe to be way more stable than the original version. I don't know what they've done here. It does feel a little harder at the back. There's more reinforcement and you've got some pads that go kind of around your Achilles area here, which do seem reminiscent of the Vomero 14 and also the Nike Next Percent. So moving on to lockdown of the shoe, Nike have employed a new lacing system here. The laces kind of double under these extra eyelets and create almost like a lock really. So as you start tightening the shoe up, um, further and further towards the ankle area, it just sort of seems to tighten and lock around your foot. Initially, I was somewhat anxious about this new lacing system here with the uh, extra eyelets, but my anxieties and my fears were unfounded. As I started to tighten the shoe up, I found it incredibly easy to get a good lockdown on it. I slipped the shoes on, tightened them up, and I was ready to run. It did feel really great on top of my uh, forefoot area here. So dead easy getting good lockdown with the Pegasus Turbo 2s with my Stance Tab Socks. They're my kind of go-to socks for any runs. I'll throw a link up to those uh, perhaps in the comments. Another change to this version of the shoe is the tongue. It kind of feels a bit like a neoprene style material. Um, you do have a extra loop here to keep the, the tongue in place. I had no problems with the tongue moving around at all on my initial run. The tongue does feel a little bit similar to the Pegasus 36 tongue. It's certainly shorter now. It doesn't come up all the way around that kind of ankle area. And I feel that the tongue is perfect in terms of size and length. So initial thoughts and opinions on this shoe are certainly very positive. Picking up pace in the shoe was dead easy. Even though I had some tired legs today, I've done a lot of miles this week. Although I might suggest this isn't probably an easy day shoe. It does want you to push your cadence and increase your pace. Um, it could lead to sort of tiring people out very quickly. I know Mark Burton's been using the original version of the Pegasus Turbo on some runs recently and he said they do make him push it a little bit too much and uh, make it more difficult for him to start off with a realistic pace. So I was lucky enough to get this shoe at some considerable discount uh, from the Nike Plus store. Um, I would suggest it is a very expensive shoe though, £159, this, that's not to be trifled with. It's a lot of money um, and a shoe that you really need to be sure that you need. I've been doing a lot of pace work and a lot of distance work recently, so I was very excited to try this shoe out, hoping that it's gonna fit the bill for kind of two or three different purposes really. Is it worth it? Well, it's a pricey shoe, but only time will tell really as to how this shoe holds up. I'm fully expecting to get a hell of a lot of miles out of it. The uh, durability, the outsole, I found really great on the original version. So let's hope that that remains the same. And with the slightly decreased weight of this version of the shoe, I think it could be a real winner. I am gonna be doing a direct comparison between this and the original version of the Pegasus Turbo. I don't really feel that a Pegasus 36 versus Turbo comparison is, is needed really. They're very different shoes intended for very different purposes. The 36 as an everyday trainer for those easy runs uh, with lots and lots of cushioning and this one for racing or higher pace tempo work. So as I racked up the miles today, um, I had no issues with the shoe, felt great all the way round, right from the off as I took off really uh, down the road um, it certainly felt similar in feel to the Pegasus Turbo uh, initial version, but the upper and the uh, less substantial materials around here certainly made me feel really free. It didn't feel as though I was kind of 
dragging my feet at all. Um, it really felt like a new version of the shoe with lots and lots of positive improvements. Going up hills wasn't really a big issue. Um, I flew up a hill earlier on, um, closer to the house, uh, and noticed that on Strava that I'd, I'd done it, the f I think, the fourth or fifth fastest of all time or something like that. Um, so certainly really enjoying the cushion materials in the shoe and the lighter feel. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed my initial views on the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2. If you've enjoyed the video, please think about subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.